The Panama Canal is an engineering marvel that connects the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean, cutting across the Isthmus of Panama and Central America. It enables ships to avoid the lengthy and hazardous trip around the southern tip of South America, known as Cape Horn. Here's how the Panama Canal works. Lock System the canal uses a series of locks to lift ships from sea level to the elevation of Gatton Lake, a man-made lake that serves as the central part of the canal. The lock system consists of three sets of double locks, the Gatton Locks, the Pedro Miguel Locks, and the Miraflores Locks. Elevating Ships When a ship enters the canal from the Atlantic side, it enters the first set of locks at Gatton. The locks are like huge water-filled chambers with massive doors at each end. The doors close, and the lock chambers are filled with water or empty to raise or lower the ship, depending on the direction it's heading. This process elevates the ship to the level of Gatton Lake, approximately 26 meters above sea level. Transiting the lake Once the ship is at the level of Gatton Lake, it navigates through the lake's vast expanse, passing through the Culebra Cut, which is a man-made channel through the Continental Divide. Descending to the Pacific at the other end of the canal, the ship enters the Pedro Miguel Locks, where it is lowered to the level of Miraflores Lake. From there, the ship passes through the Miraflores Locks, which lower it to sea level on the Pacific side. Completion of Transit The ship exits the locks and continues its journey in the Pacific Ocean or vice versa if it was traveling from the Pacific to the Atlantic. Control Center the entire operation of the canal is coordinated from the Panama Canal Control Center, where traffic is managed, and ships are guided through the locks and the various sections of the canal. The Panama Canal is a critical artery for global trade, allowing ships of all sizes to shorten their transit time and reduce costs significantly. Over the years, the canal has undergone numerous upgrades and expansions to accommodate larger vessels, making it even more essential for international maritime trade.